Beam Sight Friends, Mitty Man coming back at you from Walker's Music. Yet another word for the day. Nightcap edition. We like to give God the praise and the honor for life, health, and strength for as well as it is. Uh, Mitty Man had choir rehearsals and this evening, uh, trying to get ready for Resurrection Sunday. I want to give a shout out to the YouTube fam from Baby Justice all the way up to Big Papa JT. Where's well, Mama JT? Y'all know the routine. Also to the end time harvest game, Brother LA for Kingdom Knowledge. Elder Michael McCray, he like Sister 777, Brother PB Drawn, Brother Hottencliffe, Brother JT, where's Papa JT, Little Brother Orange Flavor, give y'all your accolade. Also to Linda and Leonard, we also want to give you, this is Kate, all of you, uh, we want to give you honor. I want to give you, uh, also to Brother LA, uh, hats off to you, man, on the last video I saw from you. Vengeance, you know. We know that uh, people will study to show ourselves approved. Workmen need not be ashamed, and uh, rightly dividing the word of truth, man. And I, I, I really want to say I commend all of you, the ones of us that are trying to do the rightly divide the word of truth, not trying to lead somebody out there in deep water and leave them out there to drown, but uh, to, but to rightly divide the word of truth. In other words. And I tell people, like you say, if people will read, I think it's in the sixth chapter of Revelation, they tell you that the, the day of God's wrath was come on the children of disobedient. And it's, it's plainly said that they, that they asked the rocks to fall on them, hide them from the end, the lamb and the one that sat on the throne. For the day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand? Well, we already know the wrath of God was never appointed for the children of obedience. The wrath of God was always is for the children of disobedience. Throughout the scripture, we see that. If you obey, uh, those that obeyed the word of God came out on good end. Those that didn't, well, you know the story. You live to suffer the consequences. In other words, uh, gonna, you're going to reap what you sow. And uh, in these end times, we got, like you said, brother, we got to watch. As well as deception is going to be very, very rampant. If you remember, that the first thing Jesus came out of his mouth, when they told him what to look for, he said, take heed that no man deceive you. Let us know that there's going to be great deception in these days. So we know this. God's people are not in the dark at all. Not by a long shot. Jesus said, we may not know the day or the hour, but we can know when we're in that season. And we know. We are not, we, we are not ignorant concerning the devil. We are not ignorant concerning our Heavenly Father. He will let us know exactly what we need to know. And know, let us know that we what time it is and what season we're in. And as I stated in my last video about God playing chess, I don't want anybody to take that in a derogatory manner because I meant no derogatory intentions at all. That was just for me. Those of you that know the game of chess, you automatically know what I meant. And God is placing things in, the, in according to His purpose and plan. Satan has nothing to do with this. God got his plan. Satan's agenda is to kill you and me. And the, the Satan's agenda is just to seek, kill, steal, and destroy. Point blank. He knows his end is near. He's already, Jesus already defeated Satan. He's not destroyed, but he's defeated. He's a defeated foe. He knows this. So that's what I tell people. If you want Satan to quit bothering you, all you got to do is remind him of his future. He don't want to hear that. Yeah. Try it. If you think I'm lying, try it. Next time he start bothering you in any area of your life, start telling him and reminding him of his future. And I guarantee you he'll leave you alone. He don't want to hear that. Satan is a defeated foe, but he's not destroyed. I'm going to let you figure that out. Satan is a defeated foe, but he's not destroyed. So, with that being said, many men hope and prayer is that we would look at, see the signs, pay attention to the signs, people. Wake up. Let us wake up. Go make us some coffee if we have to. Drink some of it. Let's wake up and see these things. There's no time for it's no time for getting laid back, people. There's no time to ease off now. No, 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 no. It's time for business. We've got to be serious about this thing. And as I always say, God cannot use coward soldiers. Now, believe you me, those of us the time as the time draw nearer. I believe persecution is going to rise again. I mean, in a big way. So some of us, some of us may suffer some great persecution. 
But that's all right. I feel that. I feel that. That what awaits us. That what awaits us. That what Jesus has prepared for us outweighs any persecution I believe we can face. Now that's what I believe, people. And uh, Brother L.A., I will uh, applaud you on the last video about the vengeance. God said, vengeance is mine. Then he said, yes, he did. And one day it's going to happen. And the regard pour out his wrath upon his earth is to make them repent. But as you read Revelation, you'll see, even after God's wrath, there's still some that's not going to repent. Oh, I don't know what else to say, man. Don't know what else to say. With that being said, I'm just going to say it like this here, like I always do. Whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God is not in it, it's best that you come on out of it. This is Man saying peace. Goodbye.